Hey, I'm Alina. I'm going to show you how to copy DVDs onto a DVD-R. Um, it doesn't really matter what kind of DVD recording you have, like DVD-R, DVD-R, or DVD plus R, DVD minus R, DVD plus RW, or minus RW. It doesn't really matter, they're both all the same. DW means you can record off of them again. But, yeah. Um, I'm using Freeware, DVD Shrink, and DVD Decryptor. They're both freeware, so it doesn't cost anything. You can get them off the internet, and they're in the link over there. Yeah, right there. See them? They're in there. Okay. Well, anyways, I'm not going to show you how to download them because that takes time, and it's pretty self-explanatory. All you have to do is, like, download it like you do a normal thing. So yeah any questions on how to download it or anything else in the video that you don't really understand uh... you can message me or comment me and i'll like try to explain it as best as i can or just redo the video So, here it goes okay so first you go to dvd shrink and put your dvd in um... then click on open disk Make sure the correct file is selected, and click OK. After a few seconds, a screen like this should show up. Click on Backup. Make sure um, ISO image file is selected in the Select Backup target. <clears throat> um, put it in a folder. I have my own DVD shrink folder that I put everything into. Um, it'll save the folder by default, so after you do it before, click save, then click OK. If something like this shows up, click OK. Um, this happens the first time I do it all the time. I don't know if it's my computer, um, but you just exit out and restart DVD decryptor. Um, open disk again. Everything should be the where it was, be where it was before. Um, so let it load. Um, then back up. Make er, everything where it is, as you can see. Um, click OK, and it'll start. Um, it takes a while, as you can see right there. So I'm just going to skip to the end. This is a close up of what it looks like. You can enable the video preview or disable it. Um, you can pause it or and resume. It takes like an hour, so. When it's done, a screen like this should show up. Um, it tells you how long it took and all the other great stuff. Just click OK. Then you're back to the main screen. Exit out of DVD Shrink and click on DVD Decryptor. After DVD Decryptor shows up, select the file. Um, the second time you burn a disk, the default folder is the same as the first, so select the correct file, click open, um, go to mode, uh, select write in the ISO file. The default setting for the write speed is at max, um, if I were you I would just leave it there. Um, I switch mine to four times because I find it writes better for the type of discs I buy. Um, after that, click the bottom thing. If you, Unless you have re-recordable discs, you won't get a screen. If you do, then you just click yes. Um, then it's starting, and it'll take like 20 minutes. It well, really depends on the speed your computer is. Um, when it's done, a really annoying sound will come up with a box that says Operation Successfully Complete. Click OK. 
then you just exit out. Um, when, when you exit out, um, you might get a bunch of errors. Just click OK to all of them. It doesn't mean anything's wrong. It just shows up. I don't know why. Well, I hope that helps. Um, the DVD you made should be pretty much identical to the original. Um, having all the bonuses, the menus, and the extras, and outtakes, and whatever else. Um, it should work in every DVD player you put it in, or PS3, or whatever else is out there that plays DVDs. Um, this is the first how-to video I have ever made, so I don't know if it turned out the greatest. So if I didn't explain anything as well as I should have, or you didn't understand it, um, just ask and I will help you ASAP. So, yeah. Thanks for watching and good luck!